Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hi, I'm Sandy Diolmeda from the Drake Hotel and I'm checking in for my shift. Welcome to my favorite mix. Today we are going to be mixing two of my favorite things, music and booze. Uh, we've got some punk rock records to play for you. And we've got some punk rock over here, but we will get to that. So the cocktail that we're going to be making, it's called the With Nail and I. Very uh, strong, spirit forward, punk rock cocktail. Uh, we're here on a Friday, we're getting ready for the weekend. This uh, uh, social distancing doesn't mean that you can't have fun on the weekend. So pick a nice cozy spot in your apartment. You want to dance, you want to chill out, whatever it is. I, I, I got you, I got the booze part of this taken care of. All right, so the with nail and I. We take it step by step, nice and slow. Let's get started. So on a Friday when I'm getting ready for the weekend, I like a little bit of punk rock. Just to get, you know, get the blood flowing, get you moving, get you pumped up. So we are gonna start with Baby Baby by The Vibrator. Punk rock, but like punk rock, it's got that ever-present little bit of sweetness. We'll get to that later. So let's start. We are gonna start with a mixing glass and we are gonna cut up the important part of, uh, uh, of this is to make sure that the pear that we're using is nice and soft and ripe. So we're going to cut that up while you guys listen to that uh, first track. We got some vanilla syrup, uh, quick uh, um, two parts sugar to one part water, reduced on the stove, and then adding some either you can use a fresh vanilla bean, uh, or in this case, I just used a little uh, bar spoon of Madagascar vanilla paste. Shake it up, you're good to go. So we're just gonna add just a touch of this, quarter ounce, get it in there. And now we're just going to smash those uh, pears up with that syrup. Depending on how punk rock you are, you can get a harder pear if you wanna get some extra elbow grease in there. There we go, bottom of the mixing glass, some vanilla syrup, and some uh, muddled pear. You can use any pear. You can use Bartlett, uh, any, any pear, as long as it's soft and ripe. So next up, we're gonna use a touch of a Isla whiskey to add some peat, a little bit of smoke. Two ounces of a blended scotch. That brings us to the jewel of the cocktail, Benedictine, uh, my favorite herbal liqueur. Uh, Benedictine is made up of 27 different herbs and botanicals. Like most uh, herbal liqueurs that are entrenched in such history, rich history, uh, the secret is, or the recipe is obviously a secret. Uh, Benedict Benedictine does make 21 of, of their herbs and botanicals uh, public knowledge, uh, one of which we're using in the cocktail today. A lot of rich history here. Uh, I was lucky enough to visit the distillery in Pecamp, um in Normandy. Uh, it's just a, it's a beautiful product. Uh, and, and whether the folklore is true and it really was initially made by monks, we'll never know. But, uh, but it does have a, a, little, a little touch of godliness in it. And we're gonna put a quarter ounce of this. So this is the sweetness that we're adding to the punk rock. So there's the cocktail. We're gonna ice that up. Stir it up. And again, we're just trying to uh, dilute and chill. Uh, this is a drink that we are gonna serve over ice. Uh, so you don't wanna over stir it. We're really just trying to Diluted a touch and uh, incorporate all of the different uh, ingredients that we put in there. Nice and good, there we go. Uh, now usually, like punk rock, 
breaks a little bit of rules. Uh, usually for a stirred drink, you wouldn't have to fine strain, but because we do have some muddled fruit in there, we don't want any of the uh, residual uh, chunks of fruit or pear or whatever into our final cocktail. So we are going to fine strain this as well. We're gonna use our hot form and we're also gonna use a fine strainer. Nice little garnish. I like to do a really thin slice. And uh, put it right on the edge of the, of the glass there. Perfect. So this is the, the, the perfect drink for the weekend. Just sitting there, relax. It's uh, like punk rock. It's hard and strong with that hint of extra love. There you have it, the whip nail on Now you can just sit back and enjoy your cocktail. Be sure to check out the link in the description and you can check out the whole playlist and make sure to tune in tomorrow and see who's on shift next. Take care, stay safe.